This is Donnie Gladfelter from the CAD Geek blog. One of my favorite new features within AutoCAD 2013 is the reimagined command line. Now, as an existing user of AutoCAD, I was a little concerned when I first heard of the change, but now that I've had the opportunity to roll up my sleeves and really use it for a while, I've really come to appreciate some of the opportunities I feel it presents to both new and existing users of AutoCAD. Now, especially as an existing user of AutoCAD, I'm particularly picky about the amount of screen real estate certain user interface elements take up on my screen. And so that's by far one of my favorite new features about this command line is the amount of space that it takes up, or more specifically, does not take up. As you can see in its default state here, it's just a single line, certainly out of the way, out of sight, so I can get on with my designs. Now some other things I like about the command line is some of its placement opportunities here. So I can drag this just about anywhere I want. If I want to put it on a second monitor, that's certainly possible. Or if I'd like, I can also just drag it to the outside edge of my drawing area. Now when I get to any one of the edges here, you'll notice that it's sort of magnetic in the way. And when I get close, it sort of sucks into the outside edge or whichever edge I'm closest to here. So that really helps me in terms of placing the command line. Now when it comes to actually using the command line, I really like some of the enhancements Autodesk has introduced here as well. So if I just start up a simple line command to illustrate this, one of the first things you'll see is on the left hand side of the command line, first I see an icon that corresponds with the button that I picked within the ribbon. Really helpful for new users of AutoCAD. Something else that I think is really helpful for folks just getting their start with AutoCAD is the fact that the command line always lists the current command running. So there's never really any question, do I have a command running or do I not have a command running? So really helpful little visual cues there. Now within that same department of visual cues, pay attention to the command options that I see here within the command line. So when I look at the close and undo options for this line command, you'll notice that the capital letter or the letter that I would enter to invoke that option is blue, so there's a nice little visual cue there to help users identify what letter they should pick if they wanted that particular option. Now something else, in this case, if I wanted the close option, we see that these have a gray background, and we've certainly been trained in AutoCAD for the last several years now to know that anything with a gray background has some sort of dynamic property about it, and these are no different. So you'll notice when I hover over the close option in this case, I get that hyperlink finger right there. And so I can also now click on command options within the command line. So here I can go ahead and pick on close. And as you would expect, the command closes that line for me. Now, likewise, when it comes to command history, it still displays the last three lines and I can configure that if I'd like. If I want to go back a little bit further, I can hit this disclosure triangle to display the command history. So that will display this view here as well. Now, Likewise, if I want the old fashioned text window, I can press control F2 and that will bring up, like I said, the old fashioned text window. So Autodesk hasn't taken away any functionality from this new command line. So those are just a few of the enhancements within the new AutoCAD 2013 command line. I really hope you guys will enjoy. Take care.